Hi, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk's technical marketing team. Let's do a quick inventor tip. Let's talk about some parameters and some equations. Uh, yeah, let's add a clock too. Nothing like talking equations and be timed. Luckily, this does not have to be that advanced, and that's probably good for me. But before we go too deep, let's just talk about why we would do this. So I'm going to go into the sketch by left click and hit edit sketch. And here we have a fairly simple uh, sketch here that we've created for this revolved parts. Now we're all familiar with this parametric modeling where we are controlling everything with relationships and dimensions. Um, and, and if I go in here and change this uh, diameter for this bore, well, hopefully the sketch don't explode. So hopefully everything kind of like just follows along as we see here. But in engineering, there's many times rules, right? So if you're changing a bore diameter, then you want the wall thickness to change accordingly or other things to kind of like follow in relationship to one another. And that's where this parameter um, is really, really powerful to do that. So let me just exit out of this sketch. I'm just going to use Control z to back out. So there's another uh, inventor tip there. And I'm going to go up to the Manage tab, and then I'm going to go into the parameters here. Now, in here, what is neat about Inventor is that it actually records every single dimension that you put in here. That's the D0, D1, D2 that you see here. Um, also, even the developers have added like this nice wallpaper with all kinds of equations. I don't know, send people to space or whatever. But my point is that, you know, this is really cool that it has all these dimensions in here. However, they don't make too much sense to me. Uh, maybe I didn't even recreate this part. So let me just back out of this um, and show you a tip. So if I go back into my SCAT, I can actually go into the dimension properties and look there. There's the name right there, D0. And I can rename it. So um, I might just change this to whole, right, just to make a little bit of sense out of it. And uh, I can also go up and change uh, the wall thickness. So maybe I just go in and right click, hit dimension properties, and I can change this to wall. Um, let me just change one more here as we, we, are, we are fighting with it. And actually, you can uh, you cannot break the words up, so you cannot have multiple words. But if you use underscore, then it works. So I can type in here O-ring, uh, O-ring depth maybe. And, and that way, you know, it can be multiple words, just connect them with the underscore. Now, when we added this here, this is all done in the scats, which is pretty cool, but you can also do it uh, with other features in there. They also get recorded. So you will see that I have like a chamfer feature on this part here. And if I go over and I right click and say show dimensions, then I can actually also go into those dimension properties and I could change that too. So uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't just contain two to one sketch. Now with this done, let's jump back into the parameters uh, section in here. And now you will see that over in the model parameters, we now have some names we can work with. And what is really neat is that we can actually just add these different uh, equations. Now I'm going to keep this simple. So I can go over here and if I type in a uh, hole, so that will be the, di the dimension for above, I can then, for example, divide that by two. So now I'm assuring that every time uh, I'm changing the, the bore diameter, the wall thickness will always be half of that, right? So if that was a rule. Um, another thing we could do is by this O-rank depth, we can actually, uh, you know, combine things. So if I use parentheses, I can type in the hole uh, plus the wall and then end the parentheses and I can divide that by a figure too. So this way here, you are spacing everything on on one of the different features. So if I go back into our sketch again, as we're running out of time here, um, then you will see that when I change that bore diameter, that everything else will update along with the uh, equations that we that we created there. So um, let me go in and make it a little bit smaller and you will see that the O-ring depth and the wall thickness are uh, combining with that. So, hey, I hope that uh, you found this little tip uh, useful and, uh, you know, thank you for, for watching and um, until next time, hope you have an awesome day.